Welcome to Earth Calling SOS with your host, Earth Doctor, Reese Alter. Despite a frigid beginning to 2015 along the U.S. eastern seaboard, Earth is showing glaring symptoms of burning more fossil fuels that release in excess of 96 million metric tons of heat-trapping greenhouse gases daily into the atmosphere. On March 24th, Esperanza Base recorded its highest temperatures since the inception of record-keeping on Antarctica at 63 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. March also delivered scintillating temperatures to the entire Australian Ocean region. It was the hottest January to March ever recorded along the Great Barrier Reef. The Totten Glacier of East Antarctica is quickly melting. It alone could raise global oceans by 11 feet. It's now losing 300 gigatons or 180 miles by 180 miles of ice each year. What's occurring in the northern hemisphere is equally frightening and Floridians are rightfully very concerned. As Greenland's melt accelerates, superglacial lakes beneath the glaciers are converging, which in turn is speeding up the melting process. Greenland's glaciers contain enough water to raise oceans globally by 20 feet. This much we do know. Greenland is melting far quicker than climate models had predicted. Miami has lost almost four inches of its coastline to rising sea levels. And now those rising sea levels are driving Florida's salt water into its freshwater aquifers, forcing some cities to shut down wells because of saltwater contamination. It's time to prepare for rising sea levels by future-proofing all towns and cities along all coastlines. This colossal effort could be funded by redirecting the $1.9 trillion of annual subsidies for coal, oil, gas and fracking into protecting all coastal communities worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, Failing to plan is planning to fail. It's clearly time to save our species. Please support the Okra Project because they're making Earth Calling SOS possible. Reporting from Los Angeles, California, I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.